December! Almost the end of 2013. That is crazy, but to be brutally honest, see you later. Not been a good year. <laughs> Not just for me, for many of my friends too. So, let's jump right in. It's all beauty products this month. I don't think I have like a anything special favorite. I'm wearing the majority of the products that I will be showing, so yay for that. Okay, so let's jump right in. I'm going to tell you what's on my lips. This is a monthly favorite. This is a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in 220 Showy. And that just looks like that. Looks like this on. I will swatch it for you. These are super creamy. Not what you would expect in a matte lip balm, but they're amazing and I can't wait to go back and get some more. On top of this lip balm, I have a, a gloss right in the middle just to make my lips look a little bit fuller. And to, oops, today I have the peach shimmer in the middle and these are the MUA Out There Plumping Lip Glosses. All three are my favorite because I've used them all this month. I love these glosses. If I ever order from MUA again, these will definitely be in there. I will be purchasing more colors. These have beautiful color pigmentation for being a gloss. And they are plumping. You do feel it on your lips. I don't know if they actually make your lips, like, bigger, but, you know. They kind of give you the idea of it. Here they are. From the bottom is Nude Candy and then, or Candy Pink, sorry, Nude and Peach Shimmer. As you can see, they got really good pigmentation, so I love these things. Another favorite. I'm just going to stick with lips. Um, my NYX uh, Butter Gloss in Eclair. This is gorgeous. I love wearing this over um, the next two products I will show you. I am just going to swatch it below the Revlon Mom. That's right there. I'm sure all of you have seen this color, but it is just beautiful and they're so creamy and buttery, just like the, the name. Next two products are two MAC lipsticks. Um, this one is Cream Cup and Creme de Nude. These are the two that I purchased um, most recently. But I love mixing them together. That's why they're both in here. And I also love mixing them individually with that NYX um, butter gloss. So there they are. Creme de Nude and Cream Cup. Both absolutely beautiful colors. Alright, next. Um, just gonna grab something. So let's just go with this. The, the Last month, I was loving the Victoria's Secret Passion Fruit perfume that I got at their sale. This month, it's the Coconut Passion, and I've used quite a bit of it this month. I, I love coconut, and this is Coconut Vanilla Mix, which those two together are like my heaven. So, heaven in a bottle. Thank you, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> For foundation, this month, I have fallen in love with the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 CoverGirl Foundation. And I didn't like this at first. I really, really didn't like this at first. I found it really drying and cakey and just horrible. I hated it. I didn't like it at all. And I was so mad that I purchased it. But, but now, with my Beauty Blender, I love this. I'm wearing it today. I absolutely adore this foundation now, and I'm so happy that I do, because it's got really good coverage, minus you can see a couple, but I'm having some issues, but I mean with the Beauty Blender, everything blends out just so beautiful. <laughs> so again, Beauty Blender and this, two of my absolute favorites this month, and I'm sure will carry through right on to December and January, because it's so dry here, and this puts moisture in and doesn't put too much foundation on, but makes everything look 
flawless. I'm sure this will be in favorites to come. Next, I'm going to jump <laughs> backwards onto primers. I have two primers with me. The Hard Candy Sheer MB Skin Perfecting Primer. I have been using this non-stop. Probably uh, mostly because it's convenient, but it does work. Um, it doesn't have a smell or anything. No. And it's clear and obviously silicone based and it just goes on great. So, there's that. And for, I have a specific primer for under the eye. Uh, the Fashionista Fashion Secret Vanishing Cream Retexturizing Primer, which I got in my MUA haul. There you go. Looks like that. Has this little clear tab thing in it, and there it is. It's like a pink, um, very, very spongy, thick texture. And you just need to dab your finger in it, and it works perfect. I love this stuff. It helps... Um, all my fine lines and everything going that's going on under here go away. So I love that. If you do make an order on MUA, I think those glosses and that vanishing retexturizing primer are a must. You must try them. They're amazing. Now, on to the finish of your makeup. Elf High Definition Powder. I bought this like God knows how long ago. And I never really used it because I didn't really know how to use it. So at first I was using it just under my eyes and that worked amazing. And then I started using it all over my face and I love it. It gives such a unique um, finish to your skin. Just silky soft and just your pores look minimized. It's a great little setting powder. I like this. I'm glad that I purchased it. <laughs> Next I'm going to jump all the way back to concealer, which is before the powder. <laughs> That's okay. I have, you've seen me, um, there's English. You've seen me pull this out in a few, almost all of my tutorials and in a number of favorites. This is the e.l.f. Maximum, ma <laughs> Maximum Coverage Concealer. This is the best $3 you will spend. And if you go right now, Everything's Cyber Monday! It's not even Monday yet, but everything's 50% off. I already made my big order. Go make yours. Before you miss out! <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, this is a must-have, but I have been pairing it with this. This used to, like, dry up under my eyes and, like, crack. It was horrible. This was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, and I love the idea of it. I love the color, the coverage, everything, but once it settled, it cracked and just dried and looked horrible. But mixing the two together gives this enough moisture not to crack and dries this up enough that it doesn't... Oh, this is perfect just the way it is. But anyway, that you don't really even need a powder under your eyes. And these work so good. The coverage is amazing. It gets rid of all my dark circles. Do I look like I have... Um, okay, so I got cut off. <laughs> Like I was saying about these two products, together they're a holy grail for me and they're like the one-two punch that I need to get rid of my under eye circles. So I love these two. Next is a mascara. This is a Colossal Volume Express and it looks like this. And the brush looks like that. And it's just working really, really well for my lashes right now. It doesn't get like that dry crusty feeling you get on your lashes where they just feel brittle and horrible. That doesn't do that for me, so that's really nice. On to a unique little product. This is the Pixie um, Bronzer in Subtly Sun-Touched, and we got this in our November Ipsy bag. Okay, like I was saying, I use this with a fluffy brush and use it in my crease, not as a bronzer. I am light enough for it to work as a bronzer, so could use it that way. But for bronzer, I'm using the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer, which I got in my latest e.l.f. order. And it looks like this. I'm wearing it today. I'm going fast because my battery is going to die. For eyebrows, I've been using the Cello Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. We got this in an Ipsy bag. And it's just a very thin little pencil that works perfect for drawing on your eyebrows. Now, on to my last products, which are eyeshadows. First off is the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Chocolate Dream. 
And that looks like this. If you want to see swatches, go uh, check out my blog, which is linked down below. I have lots of swatches there. Next is the Naked Basic Urban Decay Palette. This is obviously the one that I got my latest eBay haul. And I have been using this like crazy as transition colors and highlights. I have it as like a brow bone color today. On my eyes today is the e.l.f. Prism Palette in Sunset. I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this thing. I freaking love these shadows. They're so pigmented. Again, if you want to see swatches, go check out my blog. Because um, I have swatches of all the palettes that I did receive in my latest uh, e.l.f. haul. Anyway, that is everyone. Thank you. That is everyone. That is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And that's my daughter. <laughs> We're in, I'm so sorry I had to rush this. Um, but those are my favorites. Um, I would love to know what yours are. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you. Oh, one more thing. Vlogmas. Yes? No? Let me know. As soon as possible. I think I might do it on my other channel. So, let me know what you think. Because it's not just going to be beauty, it's going to be day-to-day -day life. So I thought it would be better on my mommy channel than this channel. But you let me know what you think by um, a comment, please. A thumbs up doesn't really tell me whether you want it or not. Uh, so please leave a comment. Yes, no, it'd be great. Uh, anyway, that's everything. Bye, guys. <laughs>